bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We are here at Kenmore City Hall and joining me right now is Martha Cho, who is the Chief Administrative Officer for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Thank you so much for coming on the program. It's nice to have you. It's great to be here. A lot of people are familiar with the foundation and its work, but for those who aren't, can you tell us your mission and who you serve? Sure. Well, Bill and Melinda Gates um, have a very strong but simple belief, and that is that all lives are created equal. Whether you're born here in Bothell and Kenmore or Bangladesh or Africa, and so um, our foundation is um, based on the vision that all people deserve a chance to live a healthy and productive life. So what that means for us is we focus on three major areas, global health, global development, and our own United States, uh, including the Pacific Northwest, our own backyard. I just wanted to ask you about that. A lot of people are familiar with your work in global health, but you're very, very deeply committed to the local community here, Pacific Northwest. Yeah. How so? Well, we're committed in a lot of different ways. You know, um, we're a family foundation. Sometimes people forget uh, that. But um, Bill's family goes back a long way, a history of, of leadership and philanthropy. And Bill and Melinda have a very strong commitment to their hometown, um, whether it's building our beautiful new campus or supporting the very important organizations that people look to for help and support. So the work in our local uh, community uh, is focused on ending family homelessness and focusing on early learning because of the profound difference that makes for the rest of your life. And uh, supporting a number of our organizations here um, and, and consistent with our, our mission in the United States, which is education because of the impact that it has on, on, on the lives of, of many people throughout the country. Tell us about your new campus that's sure. going up. Everyone's been seeing it, or at least if you've been in Seattle, you've been seeing it slowly but surely yes. uh, taking shape. So tell us about that and why you decided to make Seattle the foundation's permanent home. Sure, I'd love to. Um, well, again, this is something that both Bill and Linda were very um, keen on, uh, on, on doing in terms of staying in the heart of the city. And this was something that they really wanted to do. We looked at a number of sites, and they were committed to the heart of the city. So we were able to strike a wonderful partnership with the city of Seattle to take over a parking lot. Um, and we're building the first phase of our campus, which includes two buildings, to house all of our employees. Now, over the years we've grown, we're now in five different buildings. And so for the last four years, we've been taking shuttles and, and a little you know, complicated. A little complicated, <laughs> and it's really hard to get a sense of community. So um, we're going to be in one campus. And uh, we also recognize that there's a lot of interest in our work. Mm. And I think we kind of underestimated that. So one of the features is a visitor center. This is going to be our public face to tell the history and the story of the foundation, explain why we've chosen the areas that we have. and. Um, give kind of a personal face to many of the, the people that we work with, and then inspire, um, um, educate, inspire folks to think about, well, what could you do? Maybe you can't be the Bill Mulna Gates Foundation, but maybe you could do something with an hour of your time mm -hmm. in your own backyard, or maybe you could think about how you choose to give resources. And so uh, all of that is going to be encompassed in our visitor center. And one of the other neat features is we're going to have our own conference center. We will have about eight or 900 meetings that we hold. Uh, this year, and they're scattered all over. With a 17-room conference room, um, we'll be able to bring our grantees and our partners onto our campus, so that's the other cool feature. So I'm excited. We're opening in May. We've got moving dates assigned, and we're on track to, to open our campus that's, in the spring. That's fantastic. Talk about some of the sustainable design elements, because yeah. I know that was something very important as you constructed your facility. Yeah, I think we've been thinking about um, how to make sure that we um, uh, are energy efficient and uh, reusing materials. And so there's been a great deal of thought in the design and the construction. Um, we're on track for, for lead gold. And some of the really unique features include a million gallon water storage facility. Um, and that's going to be capturing a lot of the rain that we're seeing now. And we'll use it to water plants, for our toilets. We have another large holding tank for water to cool it at night and circulate it so we reduce the amount of electricity that we use. Great. And unfortunately, we're out of time. Martha Cho, thank you so much the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Thank you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers.